star who's become the queen of the breakup ballad. The global superstar that is Kelly Clarkson is here. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, he's got a moustache that rivals all of ours. It's celebrity <laughs> juice comedian Rufus Hound. <laughs> now, Kelly, you're going to be singing your new single later yeah. in the show. What's it called? Uh, Mr. Nodal. Ah, oh. <laughs> Rufus, I didn't know the two of you knew each other. We just met, but I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just said that Lima was the capital of Peru, and how could she not know uh. that? And suddenly she's written a song about me. Uh, it only takes a little bit to make me mad. <laughs> <laughs> just I see like why that. she does so many uh, uh. Well, we're going to be seeing both of you a little bit later on, but for now, it's Kelly Clarkson and Rufus Hounds. <laughs> Good. And if you've got a question for Kelly or Rufus, you can get in touch by going to our website, emailing us at loose.women at itv.com, or going onto our Facebook or Twitter pages. Thank you, Rufus. And it's the same addresses if you want to join in on any of today's chats. You've got until 1.05 p.m. today. That's Wednesday, the 9th of November. Now, our final guest today went from small town American girl to big time American Idol 10 years ago when she won the first series of the massive show. Since then, her powerful vocals and angsty pop rock sound have turned her into a global superstar, winning her a string of accolades, including two Grammys and the title of the Queen of the Breakup Anthem. Please welcome Kelly Clarkson. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Welcome back. Yours is beautiful. Your, yours is. Oh, mine disappeared. I had it on oh. me. I had it on me. It just oh, disappeared. Your you dropped your poppy. Yeah, poppy. I don't know where it went. Maybe it, it looped. Well, yeah, it went off. But yours is like jeweled. I like it. Glittery. Oh, yeah. thank you very much. Well, never mind us. What very about you? Bedazzled. You oh. look lovely. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> I bedazzled my shoulders. There we go. There we go. Now, are you living the dream at the moment, Kelly Clarkson? Some days, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I love what I'm doing, um, you know, whenever I'm on stage performing and doing stuff like that and getting to promote the record that we've worked hard on. So, yeah, that's good. It's that that been years now, isn't it? It's a years? decade. I'm so old, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Found out how you thought it would. I mean, yes. Yeah, I mean, I thought I'd sing more. I always make that joke. People are like, what did yeah. you expect? Lee, I don't sing as much as I thought I would because you end up having to talk more than you do sing. So I love doing shows. Do you like, like the gigs first then when you're actually yeah, on stage? Yeah, or and... even if I'm doing both, that's what I like. Like, I like this. I like talking a bit and then getting to sing. So, yeah. We're not going to let you sing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> now that I said that, you yeah. if, if you could change anything about the last 10 years, what would it be? Or, is, or are you just having the best time? Uh, yeah, I mean, and it all hasn't been like the best time, but I wouldn't change anything. I think that makes you who you are. So you have to, one of my favorite songs on this record is, uh, it's What Doesn't Kill You Makes You Stronger. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's very telling of the past 10 years. So Would you okay. say that, I mean, obviously you, you have a, a very strong input on, on the records that you release. Would you say that now it's, it's, it's got an older feel compared to, the, say, the first album that you oh, released? Oh, well, definitely. I mean, I think, look, I was 19 when I made the first one. So yeah, I'm 29 mm -hmm. now. I think it, just the majority maturity's on there, yes, and uh, I don't know, I think with that, you know, 10 years comes experience, so everything yeah. sounds better, yeah. the producers know me better, all the writers that I work with know me better, so it's just Do you a have any album. sympathy for, you know, our daft lad? I have no who's... sympathy for anyone. There you go. <laughs> 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 you know, you were on The X Factor recently. Oh, yes, so, yes. So when you were on The X Factor, did you get a feeling of what, you know, the pressures on you also from your own experience? Yeah, but it's a little different now. I think they have a little bit more pressure on them because of all the success that has come out of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people really do get really successful out of these shows.
shows, and I think that pressure is kind of put on them. When I was on the show, um, I don't st the states. Nothing had happened before, mm. so it didn't really matter. Mm -hmm. I could you win or lose, because and it, it didn't matter. Yeah. yeah, because it was yeah. the first series. There wasn't any pressure there. I was like, but well, I hope it you were. You must so. have realized that moment when you won. Did you think this is the start of something very big? Not even then. No, um, I literally was. We were so tired, and nobody really knew what was going on. And we sang so many genres of music on the show that people mm. wanted a country album out of me. People wanted a pop one. People mm. wanted an urban. Everybody wanted something different out of me, and I was like, I don't want to do any. I just like to make a pop record that has everything. You, you think so. you've found your niche, though? Are you doing what you love? Yes. Yeah, so all my records have. It's like eclectic pop. There's you know little influences of dance and singer songwriter stuff and country and pop rock and urban and mm. there's a little bit of everything. And that's me. I mean, everybody on your iPods, you don't listen to the same of thing. Of course. Yeah. So yeah. So I like a little bit of everything. And you've yeah. called your your new album stronger. Yes. Why is that? I, you know, honestly, just to go back to before, like ten years of doing it, I just feel like. I'm a little bit more at ease in certain situations, and I think just I have a really good road family, you know, that I tour mm -hmm. with, and everything's just easier and smoother most yeah. times. So. But just yeah. having such a strong image make it hard for you in your own relationships because, you know, through the music, you seem to say, this is what I think. And, yeah. you know, and well, I need a, a, a baldy man. <laughs> <laughs> I need a guy with a lot of guts. I can't. And so, I mean, people always say, are you afraid that you're going to intimidate people? I might be an intimidating person, but that just means I need a man that can handle that. So, so is yeah. it true that the new single, Mr. Know It All, yeah. is that about Simon Cowell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be, but no, no, no. I actually picked that song not because it was about a relationship. It was more of a working environment. And um, if you've seen the video, I made it like all about the press clips and everything that's happened yes. in like, the past 10 years. And yes. it's more like I think you don't know anything about anyone. Everybody's ever changing. Yeah. So it just kind of, it's that whole, that whole point kind of attracted me to the song. So, yeah. Queen is a breakup ballad, they call I know, it. which is funny because I haven't had many breakups. So maybe I just had really bad ones. I think the breakup yeah. ballads are the ones where you put your bag on the floor and you dance by your own bag because yeah. you haven't got anyone else to dance. I with. love that I just pictured you doing that. Ah, in your I know it's sad. It's sad. You sit there so in your right. big knickers just crying. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. That's awesome. Now, Kelly, you mentioned obviously you know, your iPod. What, what do you like to listen to or do you like silence when, you, when you're trying to concentrate and work on things? I, it's really hard for me to have silence. I'm one of those people that has to kind of constantly be working. So, um, but right now, I'm really into a lot of UK artists, actually. Just uh, Ellie Goulding, I'm really into. Okay, I love yes. Adele, obviously, everybody's into. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm really into. And actually, um, um, an Amer I like uh, the Kings of Leon as well. So oh, really excellent. Yeah. 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 Oh, and the Coldplay record just came out. That's really oh, good. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Really, really quickly, this is coming from Emma, who wants to know Will you be touring in the UK again? Yeah, um, actually, all of 2012, we're touring everywhere. So we will be here in 2012. We start in January in the States, and then we make our way around the world. So, Brilliant. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, so well, we'll we look here. forward to hopefully seeing you again in 2012. Yeah. Please come yeah. back on the show. It'll be yeah. lovely to have you. We'll even let you sing then as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, we're gonna or maybe you... I'll come to a show. Well, so yeah. There you go. Well, you yeah. go off yeah. and get ready. Yes, yes. Uh, but for now, it's Carrot Kelly. Carrot Kelly.